All right, what's the problem here? I don't know what's real. Well, that's a fun thing to think about on the way to school. Get up and get dressed. Maybe I'm already dressed. Maybe I'm wearing a zoot suit and spats. That's a shoe covering that's short for spatterdasher. Or is it? There's no way to know. Here's what I know. I don't have time for this nonsense. What is time? What is sense? What is is? Sheldon, I mean it. I remember when things meant things. All right, I'm gonna count to three. One. Believing in numbers, that takes me back. Two. To be or not to be, Shakespeare was onto something. It's your last chance. Have you ever wondered if you're the tongue of a multi-dimensional being trying to taste something you can never even understand? I have. I talked to her. Where is your mother? She had to leave for work. I have to work too. You also get to take me to school. What am I supposed to do about your brother? Call me old fashioned, but I say spank him. Your mom won't let me. Okay, I'm here. What's up? Sheldon won't get out of bed and I'm gonna be late for work. He's gonna be late for school. So you want me to get him up and drive him? Yeah. I like it better when I just come eat your food and leave. Hey, Moon Pie. What's going on here? That's an excellent question. Too bad there's no answer. Well, you need to get out of bed. I don't need to do anything. Okay, I'm gonna count to three. Dad already counted to three. Oh. Did he try the Texas thing? No. In that case. Look at you lying there. When a Texan gets knocked off a horse, he gets right back on. That is the second most important thing about being a Texan, right after thinking you're better than everybody else. Maybe the horse gets back on the Texan, who's to say? I don't know what that means. That's because you can't know anything. If you need to stare at the ceiling and contemplate the futility of existence, Missy's bed is available. Shelly, Dr. Sturgis is on the line for you. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but very well. Hello? I'm not sure, probably low blood sugar, but the point is, I also lost track of reality. How did you handle it? I saw a jaguar, and I realized I didn't care if it was real or not. I just hauled my tushy out of there. I appreciate the call. I'm giving you back to my Mima now. Bye. Hey, John, any luck? Not unless you have access to a jaguar. I don't think I do. Really, any jungle cat will do. Mima wasn't able to acquire a jungle cat. The idea of tormenting a child did tickle her Texan fancy. Sheldon. I have someone else who wants to talk to you. What are you doing with that filthy thing? Why do you care? If nothing is real, then neither is the chicken. Oh, good. We're standing now. That's progress. Get her out of here. Well, I would, but <laughs> apparently I can't know what here is. So maybe I could just set her on your bed. No, yeah, okay, okay, I'll get dressed. Make it snappy. This still doesn't solve my existential crisis. Say what? You wanna hold her? No. Less talk, more pants.